we're back and i'm gonna let you guys know what we've had going on and why we haven't been able to post What's going on you guys? It's the NAF fam back with another video, another vlog, and I know I said it many times before, and here I go saying it again. It's been a while since the last time we posted a video. We had a whole bunch going on, and I know I mentioned in uh, one of the last videos that I'll make a future video letting you guys know what we have been doing, what we were up to. So this is it. We went through parts of October, November, and December. And now it's mid-January and we're back and I'm gonna let you guys know what we've had going on and why we haven't been able to post. So I don't even know where to start because so much has happened, but we're just gonna go back in time and we'll start off with October. A lot has happened in October. I know one of the videos you guys saw was when we went to Halloween Town in Oregon. And at some point after that, we also went to the Hunter Crooked Road right before Halloween, which is here on Joint Base Lewis McCord. If you haven't heard of it yet, every year there's a area here on Joint Base Lewis McCord that is for the Hunter Crooked Road where a lot of different organizations and units or whoever might volunteer sets up a little creepy area next to the road in the woods where you can drive through and have some fun. So just like the last two years that we've been living here, we went to go see that, so that was fun. And after that, my parents came to visit us from Germany around October 26th, I believe it was, right before Halloween. They only stayed for a week and the weather was super crappy. It started getting really cold and it was raining every day, so we weren't able to do all of the activities that we had planned. But my parents got to see the kids get on or off of the school bus. We ate together every day and it was their first Halloween here. So they also watched the kids go trick or treat or trick or treaters coming to our house. We drove to Seattle, we ate over there and we walked through the Pike Place Market, which was also new to them. If you're new to this area, I definitely recommend going there. It's fun and to kind of see some typical Washington stuff. And one of the days while they were here, Dante took them shopping and I took Tiana and Tavian to the pumpkin patch while Trey was out with his friends. It's the pumpkin patch that you've seen in some of our past videos from the last two years. That pumpkin patch is not far from us. It's down the road, about 15 minutes away from the house and it's called Shelter Family Farm. So if you haven't been to a pumpkin patch in this area, I definitely recommend that. That's our favorite pumpkin patch and Tavia and Tiana got to do different activities there. We actually didn't just pick a pumpkin this time, but we went to their little petting zoo area. They had a zip line and car rides and just a bunch of different activities for kids and for adults, so that was fun. And last but not least, my parents left and it's always hard to say bye, but it won't be too long before we see them again. Well, and then after my parents left, we did a few other things. For example, we went down to Catapult and Lakewood. That's a big inflatable obstacle course park, whatever you might call it. And that was our first time being there. I know the kids been there before a couple of times with their friends, but for me and Dante, it was the first time all going together as a family. So if you haven't been there, if you're looking to, for something to do when it's raining outside or if it's cold and you're in this area, I definitely recommend checking out Catapult downtown in Lakewood. I believe there's also another one in Federal Way, but don't take my word for it. But this is how much fun we've had at Catapult downtown Lakewood.
next thing you know it was november and a whole lot more has happened in november dante had some training going on in japan so he was in japan for two weeks to set up some sort of military training and while he was there he got to see some of the stuff he actually had a little bit of extra time to go around and see some cool stuff in japan other than that he was also gone during thanksgiving so we didn't do too much i cooked at the house we had the full meal what I would usually cook for Thanksgiving, except the turkey. I didn't do the turkey this time because it would just be too much for me and the kids. And we're not really turkey eaters like that. So we ended up eating at home and for lunch. And then for dinner, we went to a friend's house down the street. So we ended up spending Thanksgiving with some friends. And another thing that I started doing while Dante was gone, I started decorating for Christmas already. I usually wait until the day after Thanksgiving but I kind of did it around that time. I don't think I waited till the day after Thanksgiving. I think I was so bored at some point while Dante was in Japan that I already started decorating the house. But I started with the inside and then I kind of, you know, was in my little Christmas zone. So I pulled out the box with all the outdoor stuff and I started decorating the house from the outside, as you can see. But the only thing that I didn't do while Dante was in Japan was set up the christmas tree you know we usually that's our family tradition so the christmas tree it would be me or dante or both of us setting it up and then we'll all decorate it together while we listen to christmas music so i waited for dante to get back to do that he got back right before december i think on the 29th or the 30th of november i can't really remember right now but as soon as he got back we pulled out the christmas tree started putting it together and we weren't able to finish because once again i think we had the same issue the year before last christmas the lights didn't work so only parts of the lights work i tried switching them out tried fixing it went through the whole nine yards it didn't work so i didn't finish recording i setting up the christmas tree because the lights didn't work and dante ended up going to the store the next morning to grab some new lights we put the lights on and then we went to, you know, decorating the Christmas tree like we usually do as a family, listening to Christmas music. But I didn't record that part, but this is what it looked like when it was finished. So for some reason, this year, the Christmas tree felt really packed. And for some reason, after taking down the Christmas decorations after Christmas, it didn't fit in a box anymore like it did before. So I don't know what happened. It's not like I added any ornaments but whatever. We also made tons of cookies 
about I think the first weekend of December or maybe the second one I don't know but it was within the first week they didn't last very long maybe three or four days anytime I bake Christmas cookies they're gone within the same week after making them so the weekend after that I made some more cookies they also only lasted a couple of days so by the time Christmas came around we didn't have any more Christmas cookies we also went to Point Defiance Park to see the zoo lights. I don't know if you guys ever heard of it. This was actually our first time going to see the zoo lights in Tacoma at the zoo. They had tons of Christmas lights hanging up. So they had different displays all over the zoo. So that was really cool to see. If you're in this area and you've never seen the zoo lights at the Point Defiance Zoo, I definitely recommend it. If we were here longer, I would definitely do it again. And I wish we did it in the past. I don't know if it's always the same kind of displays, but that was the first time we've seen that many lights in a park, I believe. So that was really cool. And then finally, it was December 25th, Christmas day, the day everybody has been waiting for, for the longest time ever. And it's my favorite day because my favorite part is the kids waking up in the morning or being woken up usually one of them wakes up first and it wakes up everybody else as soon as they know that the christmas gifts are under the tree they start coming downstairs and it's just the best reaction ever if you guys have been following us on our youtube channel for a while you guys know that we always do a christmas vlog and that's always my favorite reaction to see them come down the stairs see the tree start looking for their name and unwrap the gifts and as always while they're unwrapping gifts it turns into a chaos everybody starts losing their christmas gifts underneath the wrappers and boxes and tape and they have to try and find it again it seemed like it took a really long time i think it did you know there was a lot of gifts under there so good for them but then when that part was over we cleaned up and i think dance and me spent all day putting everything together from computer desk to computer gaming chair and basketball hoops and basketball arcade games. I mean, whole nine yards. It's like that every year on Christmas, me and Dante end up spending just hours or the rest of the day just putting their stuff together, of course, because they wanna use it. They, they wanna use it, they wanna use their new stuff. And by the way, if you're wondering where they are, Tiana is actually getting ready to go outside. Her friend is at the door waiting for her. Trey went to his friend's house and Tavian is playing basketball outside with his friends. So they got their stuff going on today. Dante is cleaning out his car and I'm telling you guys what we've been up to. Well, and then came New Year's Eve. We didn't really do too much this year on New Year's Eve or last year now you can say. We usually either go somewhere or we buy fireworks or we go somewhere we can shoot our fireworks or we might have a little New Year's Eve party, but this time we didn't do none of that. We actually pulled out the fire pit made a fire, we made some s'mores, we listened to some music in the backyard, sat around the fire, so that was cute. And we also had some little poppers, confetti poppers. Not, so nothing too fancy, but it was still fun. Unfortunately, we didn't get any fireworks this time because we live in a different house than we did last year around that time. So we're a little bit more within the community. Don't have too much privacy behind our house. Not to mention we live on a military base where you're not allowed to do fireworks. We could have bought, you know, little firecrackers or whatnot and just keep it safe in our backyard. I believe it was raining that evening. I can't remember right now, but we didn't do that because soon we're going to be able to do huge New Year's Eve parties with the biggest fireworks that we've ever had. But I'm going to get to that in a little bit. Well, and after that, once Christmas and New Year's Eve was over and we were in January in the new year, we did a few other things. For example, we went to Dave & Buster's. It was just me, Dante, Tavian, and Tiana. Trey wasn't up to going, you know, typical teenager stuff. It's like a hit or miss. Sometimes you want to participate and sometimes you don't. But it was just me, Dante, Tavian, and Tiana. We had some fun. We ate good, played some games, and I think... All together, we ended up with over 7,000 coins, tickets, whatever you want to call them. So we split it up between Tiana and Tavian, and they both got to pick some cool stuff that they're still using to this day. 
I think Tiana had a facial spray, like a cucumber spray and a small decorative plant that she got in her room, along with some other stuff. Tavian has an ear pod case and I can't remember all he picked out, but they got some decent stuff that they're still using today. So yeah, that's pretty much it up until this point. It's mid-January now. And that's what we've been up to the last couple of months. So as you can see, it was quite a lot. But that wasn't it because we had a whole bunch of stuff in between those things that you guys just saw. And that is because we are moving again. I'm not going to reveal yet where we're moving to, but we are moving. So in between all of the things that you guys just saw in the videos and pictures, me and Dante have been working hard on setting appointments, attending appointments. Sometimes the kids needed to be out of school for a few hours to knock out those appointments and just get so much done for this upcoming move. So I'm definitely gonna keep you guys posted. And in the next video, I will reveal where we're moving to. But in the meantime, I want you guys to comment down below or message me on Instagram or whatever you prefer. And let me know where you think that we're moving to. And along with us moving, we've been doing some things in the house. For example, Dante and I got rid of a lot of stuff. For example, right there above the door, we had like this metal decorational piece, it was old. And then here above the hallway table, we had a mirror. <laughs> Speaking of Dante, he's right there. But we had a mirror right here, that's gone. We got rid of that along with a bunch of other stuff because we know that we're not going to take those things along with us on the move. And because we're moving, you know, when you move, new house, new things, this great company came along named Taylor Canvases that sent us something really special that we're going to be able to put up in our new home. All right, so here we are, and I have to stand up for this part of the video because as you can see, this is not small it actually takes up the entire screen and just in case you're wondering who taylor canvases is taylor canvases is a company that works with amazing artists to create personalized canvases just for you taylor canvases is made in the usa offers free shipping via ups and all products have one year guarantee you can choose any of their examples or you can simply customize it and make any changes you wish with a choice of three different sizes. Taylor Canvases offers new designs daily and even have monthly picks and great discounts. All right, so now that we learned who Taylor Canvases are, we're getting ready to open this bad boy up. I have not seen it in person. All I've seen was the picture proof that was sent to us. So we're getting ready to open this up and see the canvas that they have personalized just for us. And this is the first time that I'm going to see it up close and personal and I'm taking you guys along so let's go so we chose a unique family sign that was personalized with our choice of text and it's made in the US on 1.25 inch thick premium canvas. It's also made with UV resistant ink that will last for decades. It's also being shipped directly from their warehouse in Colorado and now it's time to reveal. All right, so all I can say is that I am impressed of how this turned out. This is really thick. And as you can see, you can hang this up any kind of way. You have these little hooks right here. So you can hang them up on the wall either this way or that way. But because our sign is like this, of course we're gonna hang it up this way. But just to give you an idea of how big this is, this is a decent size above the couch, above the headboard and a bedroom dining room, wherever you want to put it. Also with this video, I want to thank Taylor Canvases for sponsoring today's video. This is a very unique piece. And if you guys are as impressed by this piece of art for our new home as I am, and if you're interested in getting one of these for yourself or family or a friend, please go to www.tailoredcanvases.com. Scroll through it and find whatever you like. There's definitely something for everybody. And don't forget to use our discount code NEFM15 when you check out so you can receive your discount. And now let's get back to our regular video. All right, so we're back to our regular scheduled video, even though this is nearing the very end. Got the canvas right here still, got it laid out. I wanna make sure everybody in the house sees it. Tavi just got back a couple of minutes ago from playing basketball. 
And as you can see, because it's winter, it's already pitch black. You know, when I started this video, it was daytime. You know, we kind of been at this video the whole time. But since I mentioned to you guys that we're moving, I'm going to show you a couple of things. You can't see me right now, but you're about to see me again. All right. So this is what the garage looks like right now. We cleaned out a whole lot. Half of the bikes are gone. We got off the bus on here for now. We need another storage bag. There's some trash. We're keeping Tiana's stuff. And of course, we're keeping all of our sponsored hoverboards and our electric scooter over there. This is what Tavian got for Christmas. Took some time to put it together. It's actually several games. As you can see, you can play baseball and football with this too. We're renovating Tiana's dollhouse. And I reorganized pretty much everything that's behind me. Whew, I threw a lot away. Reorganized everything. Everything that's behind me or everything in general in this garage is stuff that we're going to be taking along with us on the move. So I'm back in the house. There's a whole lot more that we've been working on to kind of prepare for the move. But like I said, I'm not revealing it just yet. This is going to be in the next video. But you guys don't forget to comment down below. Let me know what you guys think. Where do you think we're moving to? Just comment with some ideas or message me on Instagram. I know some of you guys like to message me rather than commenting down below. I prefer you guys to just comment down below so I don't have to answer the same question twice. But like I said, all of that is going to be in the next video. We have a bunch of stuff going on and it's Friday night. Is it Friday night? No, it's Saturday. So as you can see, all of my days run together and it feels like it's the same day or the next day or I'm gonna pass them in the future every day. That's how busy we've been, but that is over there on the couch. We're getting ready to hang out for a little bit and chill and then get back to work. And I'll see you guys in our next video, which will be on no later than Monday. So I'll see you guys then. We out.